Who says making out in public can't spark dinnertime conversation? A free sex show. This is the reaction we got when we asked two actors to make out in full public view in front of our hidden cameras. I'll let them see the old and the young. <laughs> And as we quickly learned, apparently the behavior is contagious. <laughs> this is the makeout section. You gotta make out if you hit this the makeout section. <laughs> but we wondered, would we get the same accepting reaction if the couple making out weren't straight, but gay? <laughs> Kaylin and James are actors, and in real life, they've been a committed couple for two years. But folks in Birmingham, Alabama, don't know that. Nor do they like it when we sit them on a park bench outside a local restaurant. <laughs> Birmingham Police, Operator 9283. We have a couple men sitting out on the bench that have been kind of kissing and drooling all over each other for the past hour or so. That's right. Our experiment on gay public display of affection, or PDA, prompts a call to 911. Not against the law, right? Not at the best of my knowledge, it's not. So there's no complaint I could make or have, you know. I mean, uh, I would imagine you can complain if you'd like, and we could always send an officer down there. And they do. Moments after that 911 call, a police officer is on the scene. Got a call on you guys. Oh, really? But suddenly he gets a call from his superiors. What this officer didn't know is that city officials and police brass had signed off on our experiment. And moments later, a change in his demeanor. Y'all seem to be all right. Just keep what, what they say? So y'all was making out. Just, you know, uh, let's don't do that out in public, all right? All right, y'all yeah, good. We tried talking to the officer about what just happened. Sir? Hey. I'm with ABC News. How are you? The officer isn't interested in talking about what he's witnessed. And one thing's for sure, we're getting plenty of attention. A national TV show is spying on Birmingham. <laughs> <laughs> Our decision to explore gay PDA was triggered by what we were reading and seeing on TV. More and more, you can't turn on a television or change the channel without seeing gay couples kissing in public. I really want to kiss you right now. Remember that controversial Super Bowl commercial? Two mechanics locking lips while eating the same Snickers bar. I think we just accidentally kissed. Quick, do something manly. It begs the question, is Main Street USA ready to tolerate gay PDA? Last time I checked, it was Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. <laughs> we tested America's tolerance two years ago when we took our experiment with taxis and hidden cameras to the streets of Las Vegas. Yeah, check out, I just flew in. San Diego, and I swear half the people in the airport and the plane are gay. Then our driver, an actor, starts using homophobic slurs. I just don't want them anywhere near my kids. There you go. You know what, pal? I'm with you because I firmly believe in in the old days and carrying weapons, and you know, and you're f***ed up, man. You need to be put down right there. Well, you know, because that, that would stop it right there. That point of view is disturbingly nothing new. Violence towards gays and lesbians continues to dominate the headlines. He's like, why are you holding this boy's hand then if you're not a fag? This man from Arizona was brutalized for simply holding a friend's hand. <laughs> Back in Birmingham, folks stare, others glare, and this man decides to make a scene. Look at Room, guys. But he's actually in the minority. I was fine with it. Seemed like they were very fond of each other. <laughs> oh, thank Thanks. you. As we're about to find out, most people are downright <laughs> welcoming. Meet <laughs> Dana Smith. Glad you're here. Oh, hey. Birmingham is a very good place. Y'all will definitely, y'all will definitely like it here. Oh, thank cool. you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm with ABC News. How are you? Dana goes on and on, telling us all about acceptance and tolerance. And many other young adults in Birmingham feel the same way. My dad forced a lot of things on me. <laughs> Politics, religion, everything. And when I grew up, I realized, hey, I have my own mind. You know, I'm my own person. And I don't shun anyone. 
It's nice is what the girl said about like how she, you know, she was brought up one way, but then yeah. she changed. Like, or you know, it's sort of the more world that you become, the more accepting you are. Is that what you noticed that the younger people were more accepting? Yeah. But what about the older folks? Well, as a whole, the majority seem not so accepting. Meet Spencer Phillips. It's not don't do this, but you're not supposed to do this. God did not make you to be together like this. Men are not supposed to be sassy fag men. Sissies, so to speak. <laughs> Next, when it's two women on the bench, who's turned off? And who's turned on? The two women was kind of sexy. Two women kissing, sure, it's a little different than two men kissing. When we come back. <laughs> we have seen what happens when two gay men get affectionate. You gotta call them, guys. Oh, really? But what if we change our actor's gender? And instead of two men, it's two women. Remember the hubbub that this kiss between Madonna and Britney Spears created at the MTV Awards? Like James and Kaylin, Ashby and Leslie are in a committed relationship of eight years. And like our male couple, when Ashby and Leslie get affectionate, they also get their share of stares and glares. This man doesn't seem to know what to make of it. And then there are these three generations of women. They stop, watch, and one by one, they all turn, visibly disturbed. Disgusted. I just don't want to see the same sex um, kissing. It's not what we say, it's what God says. Their chances of going to heaven may not be very good if they continue this lifestyle. It's like gay night right Not now. surprising. It's the same thing we heard from that taxi cab passenger in Vegas. You know, if you want to be gay, be gay. It's my opinion. It's wrong. And when you die, you're going to meet God. You got to tell God why you're gay. But when it comes to gay women, these men in Birmingham have a different take. They're mesmerized by what's happening on this park bench. Their heads turn one, two, three times. But what happens next even we weren't ready for. Hey, ladies. Hey, I'm Matt Campbell. Matt Campbell is sent in as the wingman for his buddies. Those are my buddies over there. And they wanted to say hey to you, but they're embarrassed too. Why? I don't know. Because they're sissies. Because they're sissies? <laughs> they wanted to say hey? Hey, John, blue shirt. His name's David. Say hey, David. Hey, David. Hey, David. <laughs> hey, David. Hey. Hi. I just want y'all to say hey to him because he's super sissy. That is funny. It's, it's their prerogative to do whatever they want to do. I don't I don't feel like I'm put on earth to judge. I mean, I'm married. I, I'm an affectionate, affectionate with my wife in public. So, I mean, if they care and love, you know, they should be able to do that. But the two women was kind of sexy? Sure. I mean, a heterosexual male. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, two women kissing, sure, is a little different than two men kissing. We wonder. <laughs> Will the reaction be any different in a more liberal blue state? Well, welcome to Verona, New Jersey. Here, Ashby and Leslie get the same approval they got in the Deep South. How's it going, all right? Yeah, yeah it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful day. day. It's a nice park, isn't it? Gorgeous. Almost as gorgeous as you, Zach. Aw, thank you. <laughs> what a wonderful day. But while some like what they're witnessing, a silent minority can't hide their disapproval. Their faces say it all. So to me, it's not, not appropriate. What should they do? To me, there's a time and a place for everything. If they want to kiss and hug each other, get a motel or get a house. Remember, that's what we heard in Birmingham, Alabama. Look at the room, guys. But then we meet Dolores Sproggins and her daughter, June, and they seem to speak for the majority. Hi. <laughs> whether we're in a red state or blue state, or whether the folks are young or old, female or male, we continue to hear one theme over and over. Personal feeling is love is good wherever you find it. Even if they kiss? They kiss, but it didn't bother me. No. Hold hands? No. That's fine. Some people have told us it's unnatural. They could live next door to me if they want. Yeah, it doesn't bother me. Because they're nice looking, you know? Nice eye candy. <laughs> <laughs> of course, in New Jersey, the police came too, but they just drove on by. <laughs> <laughs> 